The 1920s through the 1940s was a time of many advancements in occupational therapy, ones that have influenced occupational therapy today. This time period begins with the close of World War I. Women had just fought for and won their right to vote. Women's clubs and their junior league became strong advocates for social justice across the country, and they played a significant role in the promotion of OT. This decade became known as the Roaring Twenties due to consumerism and prosperity. People lived lavishly and spent freely. This all changed when the stock market crashed in 1929, resulting in the Great Depression of the 1930s. President Roosevelt passed the National Economy Act of 1933 to reduce national debt by cutting government spending. This included severe cuts to OT and other services for veterans. As a result, by the time the U.S. joined World War II, at the end of this era, there were very few civilian OTs employed to help in the war effort. For occupational therapy, the 1920s to 40s was a time of establishing higher educational standards, moving closer to the medical field, and growing the base of research for OT practitioners. In 1920, Herbert Hall took over presidency from Eleanor Clark Slagle. During this time, the group changed their name from the National Society for the Promotion of Occupational Therapy to the American Occupational Therapy Association, the name we still use today. Hall was followed by Thomas Kidner, Floyd Haviland, and Dr. Joseph Doan, a former president of the American Hospital Association. Doan contributed to the growing relationship between the AOTA and the medical community. In the early 20s, the AOTA decided to move away from craft-based treatment and establish OT as a more legitimate healthcare profession. They started working with developing education requirements for new OTs. The first minimum standards for training was created in 1923 and was refined by 1927 to require a high school diploma, nine months of coursework, and nine months of hospital practice. In 1931, the National Register was established by Slagle and Kidner to maintain a record of OTs who graduated from programs that met these minimum standards. OTs with experience were able to join the register by taking a written exam. The first register included 318 therapists. In 1940, OTs who joined the register were named OT Registered, or OTR. The OT Register of today closely resembles this model but now all students must pass an exam to join. Around the same time in the early 30s, Kidner asked the American Medical Association's Council on Medical Education and Hospitals to take responsibility for deciding whether OT programs met minimum standards. They created a more extensive set of standards in 1935, and in 1938, five schools across the country met these standards. At this point, graduation from one of these accredited schools was required to become a registered OT. Today, schools are still accredited by a non-AOTA group to prevent conflict of interest, but it is now completed by the American Council for OT Education rather than the AMA. In 1922, William Dunton started and was the editor of Archives of Occupational Therapy, which contained research articles about OT. The name later changed to Occupational Therapy and Rehabilitation to include a broader range of research. Research was also done to understand how and in what settings OT was currently being practiced. In these journals, many OTs published their analyses of various activities 
examining the activity demands, tools, economic values, and personal and social benefits of activities. This pattern of disseminating research about OT and new therapeutic tools contributed greatly to the contemporary use of research and evidence-based practice in OT. During this time period, there was much discussion about what OT is and its role within and beyond the medical approach. These discussions still exist today and will likely persist in the future of OT as we continually reevaluate and redefine our profession. Additionally, educational standards will inevitably continue to increase as they have during this time period.